He is known for leading two Russian expeditions, exploring the northeastern coast of Asia and the western coast of North America. He is recognized for his contributions in mapping new areas and determining whether Asia and America shared a land border. His name is Vitus Jonathan Bering. In the annals of history, there are figures whose indomitable spirit and thirst for discovery have forever changed the course of human knowledge and understanding. One such luminary was Vitus Jonathan Bering, a Danish cartographer and explorer in Russian service, who left an indelible mark on the world through his groundbreaking expeditions. Born on August 5, 1681, Bering's journey into the realm of exploration began at the age of 15 when he embarked on a seafaring career as a ship's boy. Over the next eight years, he traversed the seas, gaining valuable experience and training in naval operations in Amsterdam. In 1704, Bering joined the rapidly expanding Russian navy of Tsar Peter, serving in significant roles during the Great Northern War. However, due to his low rank causing embarrassment to his wife Anna, Bering resigned in 1724. Despite his retirement, he was promoted to the rank of first captain upon leaving the navy, a position he would retain when he rejoined the Russian navy later that same year. Bering's most notable achievements came as the leader of two Russian expeditions, the first Kamchatka expedition and the Great Northern Expedition. In 1725, he embarked on the first Kamchatka expedition from St. Petersburg, commanding a 34-man team. Their mission was to explore the northeastern coast of the Asian continent and determine whether Asia and America shared a land border. The expedition encountered numerous challenges but managed to reach the Kamchatka Peninsula, where new ships were prepared for further exploration. Though they did not sight clear sea between Asia and America during this voyage, Bering concluded in 1728 that there was sufficient evidence for its existence. In recognition of his accomplishments, Bering was rewarded with money, prestige, and a promotion to the noble rank of Captain Commander. Undeterred by the hardships faced during his first expedition, Bering began preparations for a second voyage. In 1741, he set off on an ambitious expedition towards North America with a larger and better prepared team. Along the way, they sighted Mount St. Elias and sailed past Kodiak Island. Adverse weather conditions separated the ships, but Bering managed to reach the southern coast of Alaska and make a landing at Kayak Island. As they journeyed back, Bering documented some of the Aleutian Islands and named the island group Shumigan Islands after a deceased sailor buried there. However, his deteriorating health forced him to seek refuge on an uninhabited island in the Commander Islands group in the Bering Sea. Tragically, on December 19, 1741, Vitus Bering succumbed to scurvy on the island, which would later be named Bering Island in his honor. Vitus Bering's expeditions, marked by his courage and determination, have had a profound impact on the world. The Bering Strait, the Bering Sea, Bering Island, the Bering Glacier, and Vitus Lake all bear his name, serving as a testament to his remarkable contributions to geographical exploration. As we reflect upon his remarkable achievements, we are reminded of a man whose legacy continues to inspire the hearts of adventurers and expand our understanding of the world. In Amsterdam, young Vitus gained an officer's commission in the Russian Navy under the guidance of Admiral Cornelius Cruis. He quickly rose through the ranks, reaching the rank of second captain by 1720. During this time, he undertook various missions, including transporting a ship from the Azov Sea to the Baltic. Despite not being involved in sea battles, he faced potentially dangerous situations. In 1713, he married Anna Christina Pulse, and they had nine children. However, due to his naval duties, he was often separated from his family. After the Great Northern War, Bering decided to retire from the Navy to save face after Anna's sister's marriage upstaged his own. They moved to Viborg, but Bering soon reapplied to the Admiralty and was accepted back into active service. By October 1724, he was commanding the 90-gun Lesno. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.